Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rewind, the show where we dust off those old VHS tapes and review classic movies from the 80s. I'm Breezy, and without further ado, let's push play and see what we're reviewing today. Directed and produced by John Hughes, Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a teenage comedy originally aired on June 11, 1986, before being localized to several other countries including Norway, Sweden, and Spain. The movie follows the day of a high school senior named Ferris Bueller, played by Matthew Brodnick, who also voices someone from The Lion King, fun fact, as he fakes sick and skips school with his girlfriend Salone Peterson, played by Mia Sarah, and his highly stressed friend Cameron Fry, played by Alan Ruck. The trio travel around the city of Chicago in the pursuit of a final amazing day together before graduation, visiting various locations such as an art museum, a baseball game, and a fancy restaurant, among others. During this time, they have to avoid getting caught by Ferris's parents, his sister Janine, and the Dean of Students, Mr. Edward Rooney. As a B-plot, Cameron is having trouble with his family, especially his father's vintage Ferrari more than his own son. Ferris tries to help him get over this and take more risks, though he goes about it in a way that makes him seem like he almost doesn't care about Cameron's well-being at first. For example, he shrugs off Cameron repeatedly stating he doesn't fear well in the beginning of the movie, and later he practically forces Cameron to steal his father's Ferrari against his will. However, after the Ferrari is accidentally destroyed by Cameron, who begins to accept the consequences and acknowledge that he must stand up to his father, Ferris tries to talk him out of it, thinking it's too much heat. He furthermore offers to take the blame for him, though Cameron refuses, causing Ferris to mention to Salone that he thinks Cameron is going to be just fine, finally having the courage to face his neglectful father. The movie is littered with several jokes, some in your face, but others more subtle. I personally love all the cunning tricks Ferris uses to not get caught, such as rigging his doorbell to play a recording of his voice talking to the person at the door, or tricking a waiter into letting them into a fancy restaurant under the name of a reservation that someone else had made. My favorite though has to be when him and Cameron are getting things set up to get Salone out of school. The school gets a call from Salone's father explaining that his grandmother has died and she needed to be dismissed. Rooney, believing it to be Ferris, demands to see the body and insults the caller several times. While he is doing this, who calls on line number two but Ferris Bueller himself? This causes Rooney, as well as his assistant Grace, to go into all-out panic mode, believing the first caller to actually be Salone's father. In reality, however, it's just Cameron talking in a fake voice. Rooney's reactions in this scene are absolutely hilarious. In fact, he might be my favorite character since he's portrayed as such a caricature of a principal, trying his hardest to catch Bueller but always being just barely outsmarted or played in the end. Even when he finally does corner him, Ferris's sister of all people comes and bails him out. While it definitely may not be the most complex film or have the most coherent plot, I mean, this is an 80s movie where a high school senior hacks into the school system remotely to change his number of absences for crying out loud, but it still provides a fun experience and several laughs. While I was watching this movie with my sister to script this episode, she was laughing along with it and, having never seen it prior, said she loved it. For the laughs it provides in the portrayal of Ferris's, Janine's, and especially Rooney's character, I give Ferris Bueller's Day Off my rewind rating of play. That's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in, and feel free to join us next time. Until then, remember to be kind and rewind. I'm not the one who's <laughs> gonna be the one who's 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 gonna be the one who